I think one of the biggest challenges we have right now when we're creating effective communication is to understand what's happened to our market. I mean, we have right now this barrage, this tsunami of content coming at us. In today's busy marketplace, you know, we're on our, our tablets or our iPhones or our mobile devices, and we're constantly getting just, you know, hammered with messaging and marketing. The, the window of opportunity to engage an audience is literally three to five seconds. If you cannot, in three to five seconds, make it very clear that you are relevant and timely, they'll go on to something else. It's just that simple. When we read ink on paper, the content was valued more by the reader. We're designed to um, recognize story and be told a story and relate to a story, be moved by a story. And I think, you know, creative can really be the, the catalyst, the, the lead in that experience. As a culture, we love stories. It's the way that we get so much of our information. And that's why we pay attention. Really good reading is about making the time. In fact, when we read ink on paper, our heart rate goes down, our blood pressure goes down. We try to read all the words. We want the story. It's like this great, wonderful, wondrous experience. The lovely part about print versus the online world is it stays around. We print some diplomas for some small colleges and other schools. For us, it's a laser print on a nice piece of parchment paper, but for the person receiving it, it's, it's a meaningful piece of paper that goes on their wall, that gets treated carefully, that gets framed, and is with them for the rest of their lives. And I think keeping in mind the power of print when we're doing these things, I think adds to the meaningfulness of what it is that we do. We're not just a commodity job shop. The beauty of print and paper is first and foremost, the tactile and central quality of print, ink on paper, is extraordinary. I mean, first of all, you can change the weight the feel, the hand, the difference between a gloss, a dull, a, a coated, uncoated. Semi-transparent paper or we're doing, you know, a uncoated and uncoated paper, they stop. It's almost like, you know, they've forgotten that these experiences exist and something really interesting happens. And I think that we're wired for that. We're wired to respond to those sorts of um, surface changes and, and experiences. If I'm trying to build a brand, if I'm trying to build brand loyalty, if I'm trying to build customer relations, I absolutely want to make sure that I get a piece of print in their hands so I have the time to tell the story, tell it well, tell the narrative, and that I know that it's going to be remembered longer. Then I give you the link to my website where now I have the, the elbow room to be able to have fun. Nobody reads without a phone next to them or a tablet close by. It's all data today. It's data, data, data. Keyword, keyword, keyword. Digital, digital, digital. We're looking for the features, the advantages, the benefits, and the link that takes us to more information about the content, that immediate gratification I want and I want to know. Well, we can also do a printed piece and combine it with a digital solution, and you can kind of have both worlds happen. You can have this tangible, you know, experience that that still the majority of people love to have. And we can also get you the metrics that you need. I still have to do print and I still have to do it well. I have to have that wonderful aesthetics of print that keep you there while I'm giving you the message. I want you to see me in your mailbox. I want you to like me on Facebook. I want you to read my blog. I want you to see my ad on TV. I want to do an, an ad in a movie theater before the, the film starts. I want a billboard. I want as many different ways as I can touch you. I want to be on radio if I can afford it. So that when the time comes for you to choose a chewing gum, a shoe, you think of me. Statistically, you have a greater outcome when you have a, a digital and a print experience working together. I think 
We as a creative industry, at least, I think we have a great opportunity, a great responsibility to continue to stay on top of that and to present ideas that use paper and printing. If there's anything that I would say is going to keep print alive, it is in fact the, the sensual and tactile qualities that it delivers with absolutely every piece. In every demographic, they prefer print to online. One of the things we love about kind of the state of the economy, at least for us, is how much more printing we're doing these days. It's still magical, it's still wonderful. And I hope that we as a community keep you know, promoting, inspiring, and showing different ways to keep this a part of our day to day um, whenever possible. Because I think it's, it's really just one of the coolest things about getting to do what I get to do.